most people believe the Bible is true? Uh, has science proven the Bible wrong? Right? Is creation and evolution a side issue? Just, just, just. Our ancestors understood origins by extrapolating from their own experience. How else could they have done it? Then science came along and taught us that we are not the measure of all the simplest things. simplest explanation is, there is no God. No one created the universe, and no one directs our fate. So you and I are the product of billions, billions of years. We share a common years, ancestor with chimpanzees. This animal eventually became human. I'm sorry, but if you don't understand that humans and monkeys came from a it's common you ancestor... single out evolution and act as if there's some kind of major scientific dispute, and in fact... Evolution is a fact, not a theory. E evolution is a fact, I mean... That, that, That's right. There's no question Evolution about that. isn't an opinion, it's fact. Evolution is scientific fact. I'm sorry, I believe in evolution. We lived in the ocean 200 million That's years ago. Years. Eight million years ago, we emerged from microbes and muck. Hello, I'm Gary Bates from Creation Ministries International. And as you just saw, the Bible is under attack. Our families are bombarded with the idea that evolution and millions of years are scientific fact, but they're not. Now this is not a side issue for Christians. Doubting the Bible's history leads to questions like, what about dinosaurs? Were Adam and Eve real people? Was there really a global flood? And why does a loving God allow death and suffering? Now, this upcoming event in your church will be a great outreach opportunity to invite your family and friends and provide answers to these and many other questions. So please be in prayer for this event and I look forward to seeing you real soon.